In this video, I speak with Darren Izzo of the Izzo Sausage Company. I was cruising around Pizza Expo and happened to find their booth. I tried their pepperoni and I was amazed. The pepperoni was simply incredible. Darren's family's been in the sausage business going back generations. He discusses how the business started as well as how pepperoni's made. While the company products are created for professional restaurants, this may change in the near future. Here's Darren. Albert Grande here, pizzatherapy.com, legendspizza.com slash blog. I'm talking to Darren Izzo of Izzo Sausage Company, located in Columbus, Ohio. How are you doing, Darren? I'm doing very well, thanks, Albert. One of the reasons I wanted to talk to you is that I was walking by your little booth the other day, and someone said, you gotta try their pepperoni. It's killer pepperoni. I did, and it is killer pepperoni. Thank you. Thank you. So, what's the secret to great pepperoni? Well, just like most things, there's really no secret. It's basically we don't cut any corners. We just try to make good product that we want to eat ourselves. And, you know, that seems don't overdo anything. Just try to make it clean and simple and right every time. We use whole pork shoulders. We use a nice clean beef fat and cheek meat and all real ground and crushed seasonings. And, you know, it's just that simple. How did you guys get into making pepperoni? Uh, me and my brother, uh, John, are fourth generation meat grinders. Uh, my great grandfather started in upstate New York uh, with a grocery store making sausage and uh, salami uh, for Carmen Basilio, uh, Basilio sausage. Um, and uh, then my uh, great uncles and my, uh, their, their kids, my dad and my uncle started making pizza toppings in North Vernon, Indiana. Uh, and we started making fresh sausage in Columbus in 1978, and we've been making pizza toppings you know, there ever since. That's fantastic. Can you walk me through how do you make pepperoni? Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, we keep the batches small. Um, we do the same thing every day. We don't change up the formulation. We uh, have a two-part grind. Uh, we pay really close attention to the mixing. Uh, as to not beat up the meat and uh, break down the proteins. Um, and uh, after that, it's pretty much hang it up and let it, let it do its thing. And we dry it and slice it and put it in a box and uh, just try not to overhandle it. Okay. Now, one of the things I understand about pepperoni is that it's truly an American product that you can't find pepperoni in Italy. If you go to Italy and ask for pepperoni, you're gonna get little red and green peppers, uh, you know, growing off of a vine. Um, yeah, but it's it's an American product, just how uh, pizza as we know it is an American product. I mean, uh, tomatoes weren't put on pizza until they were uh, being put on it in the US and then brought over to Spain and Italy. Um, and the, I think the first Italian pizza with tomatoes on it was the margarita and that wasn't until the late 1800s. Um, so, you know, uh, pizza as we know it is a, is a very new world product. So to say, you know, people that don't put pepperoni on their pizza because it's not Italian, it's like, well, you know what? Neither is the pizza that you're eating. <laughs> Tell people how they can find Izzo sausage. Uh, you can ask your local distributors. We're in a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, regional, regional distribution warehouses nationwide. Um, we're in California, we're in Oregon, we're in Texas, Louisiana, all the states surrounding Ohio, inside Ohio, the East Coast, we're getting really big in New York. So, you know, if um, your local distributor doesn't carry it, uh, you kind of got to demand it. Uh, you can get a hold of me uh, at uh, Ezo, uh, at dezo at ezo.com or uh, put in uh, a request at orders at ezo.com and we can send you some samples too. That's always a good option. That's fantastic. Now, you're not in the retail business. In other words, the everyday person can't go and buy it yet, but it may be changing in the future. In the future, yeah, we have some, we have some ideas for uh, some snack sticks. We have some small four or five inch retail chubs. Uh, that we're working on. You can go to the Pennsylvania Macaroni Company in uh, Pittsburgh 
uh, on their website that will sell small quantities of sliced uh, pepperoni or uh, whole sticks. Uh, that's a good way to do it. Um, but, you know, just keep watching us in the future and you know, we're going to, you know, be able to, you'll be able to use us in your uh, own kitchen at home. Okay, Darren, thank you sir, very much. And I notice your t-shirt, a Pizza Shoals. Pizza Shoals. Brian Spangler's place. Brian Spangler, yes. From? A great bread maker, great pizza love, maker. Love Brian. Just a fantastic guy all around. He makes a great product. Um, and I'm happy to be a partner of his in pizza. Very excited. Thank you, Darren. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Albert. You can find out more about Izo Sausage Company by going to Izo.com. They're located at 683 Manor Park Drive in Columbus, Ohio. Their phone number is 614-445-8841. I'll put links to Izo and other resources below this video. And while you're here, please show some pizza love and subscribe to the Pizza Therapy channel. Pizza on Earth. Goodwill to all.